<laughs> looks like I was in a really bad fight. Obviously. Hmm. I look sexy though. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Hey guys, so today I'm doing this post-fight makeup tutorial, and um, if you want to see how I got this look, just keep watching. So I'm taking a latex sponge, and this is what we're going to use to start off with making bruises. So I'm ripping it in half, so we have a smaller um, surface area to work with, so it's easier to control. Then I'm just using my fingers, and I'm like taking off little chunks of the latex sponge, um, so it's uneven so we don't have any harsh edges and see this is what it looks like when I'm done and this is one that I've made a while ago so you can just see the difference so I'm taking a dark red um, water activated water, uh, water activated paint and I'm taking multiple different colors of reds and I'm gonna start on my cheekbone and I'm making a bruise so I'm just dipping the sponge into the paint and I am dabbing it onto my face. And this doesn't have to be neat because I don't think bruises are perfect. Last time I checked. Um, so just do this around and don't um, put it on the inside. Well, you can, but blood usually doesn't... With bruises, blood usually pulls around the actual bruise. So that's what I'm doing here. And here I'm taking a darker reddish brown and I'm doing that um, around the edges but I'm not doing it in such a big radius because we still want some of the other red to permeate outside of it. Then I'm doing some smaller bruises around my face as well. Um, and then here I'm dabbing my finger on the bruise because I had a couple harsh lines and that's what you can do if you have harsh lines you can just dab your finger onto the area and it will smooth it out. Um, here I'm taking a purple cream paint, well I actually just mixed um, red and blue, and I'm doing that again in the same area, but I'm not doing it in such a big radius because I still want some of the other tones to come out, and I want it to be darker, and so I'm just doing that around the area. Next I'm taking yellow cream paint, and I am putting that kind of in the center of the bruise because I want it to be kind of looking like not a super old bruise because when bruises get old they start to turn like yellow kind of that's gross sounding um, so I'm putting that around the center kind of to make it look like it's an older bruise and now I'm taking brown cream paint and I'm <coughs> putting that um, in the same areas as I did before just to make them a little darker because you know bruises so much fun And this is what the bruise looks like when I'm all done with it. So you can just do that all over your face or your body, depending on what you're doing. And they're really easy to do, so yeah. So now I'm taking coagulated blood and a stippling sponge. And I'm getting the stippling sponge and I'm dabbing, dot, like, dabbing it into the blood. And then I'm just lightly running it across my face so it looks like scratches across my face. And just do that all over like I did. And this stuff is, this, like, this blood is, like, really goopy. It's not, like, normal runny blood. It's coagulated blood. It's great. It's not, like, it's, like, halfway between, like, normal fake blood and scab blood. It's really awesome. And here, I'm, like, I'm not actually putting it in my nose, but I'm making it look like I had a nosebleed. Because that's ha what happens when you get in a fight, maybe, sometimes. I don't know. But, yeah. Now I'm taking a thin angled brush and I'm taking black and red cream paint and I'm making kind of like a cut on my lip so I'm starting off with the black cream paint and then I'm going in with some red to kind of smudge it out and I didn't like how it looked at like in the first place like at first and then I like smeared it out and I, I really ended up liking how it looked and so I went over and started doing bruising over that as well. And now I'm just going back and darkening up the actual cut. And I'm taking uh, the dark red brown cream paint and I'm going into the center of the cut again to make it look deeper. And I'm just bruising it up here as well. 
Now I'm going in with that stipple sponge and the fake blood again, and I'm going around the cut in the lip just to make it look like it was bleeding because that's why it probably would happen if you cut your lip open, it would most likely start bleeding. And I'm doing some of that on my forehead as well. So now, uh, it didn't record, but I got um, some black cream paint and some water, and I did drips down my eyes to make it look like I was crying, um, like my mascara was running and stuff. So that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed this, and if you did, please leave a like and a comment about what you want to see next, and subscribe if you're not already subscribed. And I love you guys so, so much, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Stay wild, babes. Bye. What's up, boys?